Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about the Guardian Angel Elite 2022 model. We have the yellow slash yellow model edition here. This is a lightweight three ounce item. It's durable, waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, and IP68 rated. It has high visibility range, four different brightness settings, a longer battery life, built-in magnetic system. You can see this lighting from 360 degree viewing points as an SLS flash pattern mode. Independent light controls for each of the lighting sections. A work light feature, which is a single LED front work light. It also features a base mount with a 6 inch Velcro strap. An independent top light feature. A battery life indicator. Easy access charging port on the side. And there are also additional hard mounting options with the Guardian Angel Elite 2022. Here we have the Guardian Angel Elite 2022 edition. The box that it comes with. The little paper manual that it comes with and the USB-C charging cable and we have a guardian angel micro here for size reference in comparison to the elite edition here's a close look at the guardian angel we have the top buttons here the top led and we have the front led here with the yellow plus one white in the front and then we have the leds in the back here the yellow leds and then we have two on the side here and also two on the side here and the charging port. This is the mount that it comes with. We got the magnet base here. We got the Velcro strap here. And on the bottom, we also have the other magnet, a very strong one at that, and four screw holes for mounting to various accessories. As we can see with the 2022 model, we have buttons that are labeled front rear this one is the light changing brightness module and also the sos button when you hold it down this is the top light button where it has a constant on or a blinking on and this is the front led for the single front if you hold it down it'll change and rotate we push once here or rather to unlock this when it comes from the factory before we push the front button you're going to want to push these two buttons on the side and the front led should come on And there it is. That's how you know you've engaged the lockout mode from the factory setting. And from here you can access all the UI options via the buttons on the top panel here. To get a battery indicator, simply hold down the rear button here. And this will light up based on the amount of power left. So a full bar means 100%. 50 means about 50%. And I think... One means about 25%. So let's go ahead and do that. And that lights up all six LEDs there. So we know we have a full battery inside of here. So it's pretty straightforward how to work this. To engage the top light button, you simply push this button once and engages in a solid button or a solid color light. We're going to dim that down a bit. That's the highest, second highest, second lowest, and the lowest here. And if we push that, we get the blinking option, and then we push it again, it rotates off. Pretty simple, pretty basic, and pretty effective. This controls the brightness output for all the lights. There's no separate controlling of each front panel, rear panel, and top panel. LEDs. It affects all LEDs at once. If we push the GA button here, this is sort of like the overall emergency mode and gives you the flashing front and flashing rear type of LEDs. Also make note, there's a lanyard hole here so you can attach a small lanyard and tie it down to something as well so you don't lose this. If you push and hold down the GA button from off, it'll rotate into a top blinking mode as well. So you get all degrees of visibility. If we hold down the front, we get a solid front coming on, which is yellow, and a blinking rear. 
as opposed to just simply pushing the front and getting the front work light. If we hold down the front here, it goes to constant on. Push it one more time. We have the blinking. Push it again, and we have a scroll mode. And same thing for the rear. Push it once here, you get constant on. We get blinking. And we get a scroll mode. Press once more to turn off. And that is the basic UI of the front and rear buttons here. We're going to go ahead and get some nighttime shots of this on the table here and also outdoors. Okay, we're back shooting an aperture of 3.9, 5000 K for the temperature rating, ISO is 2500 with 24 frames on a Panasonic GH2 1442 millimeter lens. Here we have the Oppo Lightmaster Pro and my phone for measuring Lux, CCT, which is color, and CRI rating or RA. We have the light on front on the highest mode here, the brightest mode, and we're gonna go about a foot off the table and we can see the Lux output and that's roughly going about 292 to about 300 Lux at about 61K in terms of temperature rating and 85 CRI. Let's go ahead and change the brightness level to the second highest. Lux drops down to about 250. Same temperature rating and same CRI rating. Drop it down to the second lowest, which is about 170 Lux. About the same temperature rating and same CRI rating. And finally, the lowest mode here at about 94 Lux or so. Same temperature rating and same CRI rating. Go and engage the top light now. And I'm going to keep that at the brightest level. This has a little bit more of a throw and shoots out a little bit more Lux, as you can tell from foot off the table. We have about 670 lux or 700 lux at about 15k for color rating and 87 cri second highest mode is about 429 lux about 13k for temperature rating and 86 cri rating so about the same and the last mode here there's only three step modes on this particular led we are at the lowest mode at 322 lux 11k cct and 86 cri and back to high mode. Let's demonstrate the LEDs and the different modes in the dark here. So we have a front mode LED and this is on the highest level and a rear LED. So these are the constant on models for the yellow and here's what it looks like in the front. Or rather this is the rear and this is the front here. Let's go ahead and change the modes on both sides. This is the blinking mode. Again, at highest level. Let's go ahead and change it to scrolling mode here. And that is the highest level we have for scrolling. Let's go ahead and change the output to the second highest level. Second lowest level. And finally the lowest level here. And let's add the top LED in the strobe mode here. What's interesting to note is that on the rear here, since the top LED is domed and rises above the flat base plate here, you can still see the light signal source from this view, which is important in my opinion. If we push the GA button, everything starts blinking. And once again, this is at lowest mode here. Push it one more time to turn it off. If you push and hold down, we'll get the same exact thing here. We'll skip to the 
all blinking mode here. We're going to go outside and get some further beam shots at night. Okay, we're back outside in the backyard, about 50 feet away from the light. We're zoomed in as much as we can on a 35 millimeter lens on a Panasonic GH4, aperture is 2.8, ISO 6400, 24 frames per second with a white balance of 5000K. Here we can see the light is on the lowest mode on constant on. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out just so you can get an idea of how far we are away from the light here. So it's a decent look for a low mode at night. I'm going to go up there and walk and turn on the scrolling mode. You can see how bright it's flashing the scroll modes and the spot top. So it is visible from a distance of about 50 feet away. Let's go ahead and zoom in on it. And you can see it has a big area of illumination too around it. So if you were wearing this thing at night, it would be definitely seen. Here we can see the yellow yellow combination on the 2020 Elite on the left and the orange combination plus one white LED on the micro on the right, both in the highest modes on scroll mode here. We are currently zoomed in. Let's zoom out to see what it looks like in a bigger view. You can definitely see these smaller and larger units from a good distance. Very good visibility on high modes. Let's zoom back in again one more time. Here we can see the unit being charged at a voltage of 5.11 volts at an amp draw, 0.52 amps. And we can see the white LED here blinking, indicating that the unit is charging. Overall, I like the Guardian Angel 2022 edition. It has a nice display of options on the buttons here where you can read what does what. And it's pretty straightforward for the UI. It's intuitive. The light's very bright with the LEDs inside of it here. And there are plenty of different options to run this unit with the front only if you want to conserve battery power. And there's different options for scrolling and blinking, which is fairly nice and useful. On the front here, you can see how the LEDs are laid out. They make a lot of sense. They're bright. The light gets through the plastic housing here. It gets on the side here, which is good. They updated the micro, or rather the USB-C port from the bottom of the earlier models. And they put it on the side here instead of being on the bottom, which is nice. I like the fact that they added screw ports on the bottom with a very strong magnet. You have screws down here to undo this and try to get to the inside if you wanted to. You have a bunch of literature as well. And we have the LEDs on the back here and also on the side. So this gives you a good range of coverage for signaling all around, which I feel is very important if you're going to be wearing a signaling device. Some improvements I felt they could have done is maybe added another scroll mode, for example, with the micro here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There is a scroll mode that emits from the center. And they don't have that on the 2022 Elite. I'm not sure why they didn't have that. It's not a big deal because this is just an effective scroll method as well, in my opinion. And if you notice, the center light goes on in this. Whereas the scroll mode for the front here does not turn on the center light. I felt that they could have done that and put that on here. Maybe it's just a little bit more redundancy. Maybe it's not very effective or maybe run down the battery length. They don't list the battery run times, but I heard reports that this can run up to about 40 hours or so on the price level with all the LEDs blinking. I'm not sure if that's entirely correct, but we'll do some more testing at a later date and I'll post my findings about it. But I can imagine that this battery unit is going to be running a lot more than the micro battery unit here. One thing that I like 
and if you notice this is a little bit domed on the micro and it's a little bit more prominent on the elite you can view this led from the horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane which is a good thing in my opinion i think for upgrades i can't really think about too much other than perhaps adding in a, another scroll mode from the center and allowing the white led to be constant on the front here along with a scroll mode or a blinking mode so that you can have a constant light shining and a blinking combination in the front I felt like they could have maybe add that in, but that's a minor detail. Overall, this is a good signal light for anybody in law enforcement, safety, search and rescue, firefighting, anything that has to do with traffic duties and involving with vehicles or people, pedestrian traffic too, anything that involves signaling in a visual fashion, especially at night or dead during bad weather. This is definitely a unit to have on your persons or your vehicle or your bike. Or for running at night definitely looking to get in one of these i bought this for 109 dollars off their main website guardianangeldevices.com you can get a different variety of types of colors and combinations where they divide the sides up into different colors if you want you can have an all white front a orange and a yellow back or a red and blue back and a white front or whatever you want to choose they probably have that kind of combination at their website and they do sell different kits with different mounting options for your light to be mounted some of them you can mount inside your car and on the dashboard so you have a signaling device inside your car as well and it's pretty modular it's pretty cool how they do that overall i would definitely recommend this kind of light for anybody working in those kind of fields and activities and that's all i have to say thank you for watching and enjoy your day